welcome to our channel Quint Cosmos. Today's topic of discussion is VRE that is a uh, vancomycin resistance enterococci. This is the topic of discussion why this VRE has become a global threat. Why is it so dangerous? So this is the topic of discussion in today's lecture. Okay. So VRE, this is not just uh, any bacteria. This is uh, considered as a superbug in the field of medical science. Why this is called superbug? Because uh, normal antibiotics, means uh, common antibiotics do not work well with this kind of uh, infection caused by VRE. That's why VRE is considered as a superbug and it has become a global threat. It is really a public health concern and it is uh, globally, okay, <clears throat> means globally it has become a public health concern. So vancomycin resistant enterococci. So you can easily understand by this term that it is vancomycin resistant. That means vancomycin, this is nothing but a kind of antibiotic. So vancomycin, uh, that antibiotic also does not work well with this kind of infections. Means infections caused by VRE. Okay. So this is considered as a super bug and there are so many reasons. Main reason is its high level antibiotic resistance. That is the primary cause for which this is uh, known as or this is considered as a super bug in the field of medical sciences or in the field of uh, microbiology, both are same. Anyway, so there are so many points to be discussed here in this uh, context. Okay, so the <coughs> main topic of discussion is why it is considered as a super bug or, or why it is so dangerous. So first point was what? This is vancomycin resistant. The antibiotic like vancomycin does not work well. Even the common antibiotics like ampicillin or uh, certain uh, cephalosporins, those antibiotics also do not work well if the infection is caused by uh, VRE. So that is one point. Next point is what uh, it can, this VRE can spread easily among uh, hospital se settings, means among the patients and healthcare workers in hospitals. So keeping the patient, patients in hospitals are so risky, so dangerous because it can spread easily due to its persistent nature. Yes, uh, for longer periods of, uh, periods of time, this bacteria, VRE, can survive, okay, on the surfaces uh, in hospitals, in healthcare facilities, on the surfaces of healthcare facilities, this bacteria can survive for longer periods easily. So due to this persistent nature, uh, this infection may spread easily among the healthcare professionals, means healthcare workers, among the patients. So keeping the patient in hospital settings is so risky, is so dangerous. So that was, that was the second point. Third point is uh, treating this uh, infection by doctors is so challenging because yes some special antibiotics are there but those special antibiotics like uh, linzolid is there then uh, daptomycin is there those uh, antibiotics uh, cannot be used for all kinds of patients there are problems and those things should be decided by only the doctors or the healthcare professionals okay who are authorized to take such decisions, but uh, the medicines or the antibiotics, I have already mentioned uh, two names, linzolid and daptomycin. Whether those antibiotics should be administered to the patient or not, that should be decided by doctors. Because uh, those antibiotics may cause other health related issues. 
Okay. Again, there are so many problems like uh, endocarditis, that is the infection of the uh, inner lining, heart's inner lining. Okay, infection of the heart's inner lining. That is known as endocarditis. Means uh, where it can lead to these types of problems. Endocarditis, then urinary tract infections is there. Okay, then bacteremia is there. Bacteremia. That means uh, bloodstream infections. That means a fear can lead to these severe infections. Problem is life threatening. Even death may occur. It is so dangerous. That's why this is considered as a super bug in the field of medical science. Again, one more problem is there. This can this theory, this can easily develop resistant genes and they can spread that resistant genes uh, very easily to other bacteria. So those new bacteria can develop easily resistant to such antibiotics. Then in that case, uh, the problem becomes much more challenging for the doctors to find the appropriate treatment for the patients infected with such uh, superbugs, okay, means new bacteria can develop easily uh, resistant to common antibiotics and as well as special antibiotics because really these can easily spread their resistance genes to other bacteria. So no doubt, uh, this is a global health concern. That means uh, doctors, patients, all other healthcare professionals, they should responsibly use antibiotics. Misuse and overuse should be stopped by everyone. Always they should select uh, or prescribe antibiotics wisely because uh, day by day everyone uh, I'm talking about actually the scientists they are noticing that resistant uh, bacteria are being developed by our force resistant bacteria means uh, resistant to common drugs anyway so this was all about uh, today's topic, really, why it is a global threat, why it is so dangerous. That was the topic of discussion, okay. So this is the end of this video, thank you, thank you for watching this video.